Hello everyone, this is Mizan from Doric. In this video, I'm going to share how we can send data from Doric custom form to Airtable. Uh, as you know, we have recently released our custom form element. And in the last video, I have shared how we can design our custom form fields and use different type of uh, input fields and style them. So in this video, I'm gonna share only how we can connect our custom form to your table and send data from custom form to your table so let's get started right now i'm on our website builder and i have already added our custom form here you can see and we'll send this data to our uh, your table uh, base so right now uh, you can see it's like uh, regular fields available also in form configuration uh, it's uh, your table selected but it's not configured to configure your table we need to add your table api key and table name and base id and i'll show you how to do it so before that i'll just quickly create a base uh, from scratch and let's uh, call it uh, doric uh, cf and i'll name the uh, table custom form and we have name here and we have we can uh, have uh, let's see what fields we have here we have first name last name time and date okay so let's uh, rename it to first name and rename it to okay save it uh, last name and i'll make it single line text and also it's time and we can keep it single line text and here it is date and we can make it date and then we have here what we have here email and we can make it email and email here and then we have some uh, interesting uh, options here like radio input and checkbox input radio input is like you can select only one option and in checkbox you can select multiple options like this so uh, i'll show you how we can send them to your table so we have three options here you can see this is the level level will be shown as a text here and this is the value this will be sent to your table so uh, let's uh, insert a, a new a field called radio and radio is single select select so i'll select it and add options like option one option two and option three option three so we created the radio uh, column also we have checkbox so checkbox is uh, i'll just name it checkbox and it's a multiple select uh, uh, type so here it is option one option two option three so all the uh, fields are done but one thing is important we have uh, we have to map these fields to uh, your table fields so here it is uh, first name this name it attribute is the most important thing so the first name here the text exactly has to match the name of this column let's say it's here first name it need to be written like first name if i change this to let's say something like first name then we need to change it here to or data won't be uh, like uh, recorded properly so i think uh, i'll just uh, revert it back to how it was so first name and name attribute has to be same as a uh, column title so you can see uh, last name we have here last name also matching last name and time time name attribute is matching time and date date here name attribute is matching date and email name attribute is matching uh, title radio and checkbox and radio and name attribute is matching the title and same for checkbox the name attribute is matching 
the title here. So now I'll just uh, connect the uh, form to our ER table uh, base. So we need the API key first. So you'll get the API key here. Click on the account icon and go to the account and just click here copy this uh, api key and add new api key save it like doric uh, cf you can give it any name so you can remember it later so uh, i just pasted it here save it and you can see it's here so i can use it uh, later on different custom forms and our table name is custom form and last thing we need is base id so we'll get the base id from here come to your table click on the help and go to the api documentation and first thing you'll see this is uh, the our uh, base id the id of this base is just copy it and paste it here and if you want to change the success message or forward uh, the page to any other url or any other doric page to after successful submission you can do it we'll just keep it as it is and okay and we'll just uh, save and publish make sure uh, you publish the site because the form will work only on published site i'll i'll load the site okay here it is we have our uh, form ready i will just uh, enter some data john two i'll just add some time am and date here it is also email let's say okay and we'll select the option two here and we'll select option one and three here so we can test the uh, data here uh, let's submit the form yes yeah, successful form submission and we can see the data here john uh, to time and date and email and you can see option two is here because we selected option two in the radio button and checkbox in checkbox we selected option one and three like this you can add any type of uh, fields let's say i want to add one more <laughs> one more field uh, at the end and i want to uh, i want it to be uh, text area uh, it is text area and name will be message uh, okay and everything is uh, done and then i will add one more field here it's called message and it will be a long text create a field and now i can just publish the publish uh, site and i'll just refresh it and i'll fill it again chunto uh, timing and random date option three i'll select here and option two here and option three and here is our message so submit the form and you can see the second submission is here again and you can see the message is here so that's how uh, it works uh, you can select uh, any type of field and just make sure that uh, name attribute is matching the title of your column and that's all we need to do and uh, connect with the api and base id and table name if you face any issue or need any help please uh, uh, send us a message in our live chat or email us we'll try to help and thank you so much